Hi, I'm Anne Mwawado. Here's your channel's TV news for July the 7th, 2020. Nigeria's COVID-19 infections have surpassed the 29,000 mark as the country has recorded 575 new cases of the virus. The agency noted that the new cases were reported in 19 states and the federal capital territory of Abuja, taking Nigeria's total infections from the virus to 29,286, with 11,828 recoveries and 654 deaths recorded. Meanwhile, the grilling of the acting chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission the EFCC Ibrahim Magu over activities of the commission by the presidential pro panel may continue today in Abuja. Mr. Magu's investigation follows recent allegations of fraud against him by the Attorney General of the Federation and the Minister of Justice Abubakar Malami who wrote to the president demanding the EFCC act in chairman's removal. And to security matters, bandits have killed 15 farmers at Yargamji village in Batsari local government area of Katsina state. The police public relations officer in the state, Gambo Isa, confirmed the incident. The attack comes few hours after the Nigerian army flagged off exercise Sahel sanity to mitigate the spate of insecurity in the northwestern states of the country. The West African Senior School Certificate Examination has been scheduled to commence in August. The Minister of State for Education, Emeka Mwajuba, announced this on Monday in Abuja. According to him, the ministry will publish the timings for the examinations after a meeting with authorities of the Nigeria Center for Disease Control and the Nigerian Union of Teachers, among other stakeholders. On the international scene, China has unveiled new powers to censor Hong Kong's internet and access user data using its feared national security law. The online censorship plans were contained in a 116-page government document released on Monday night that also reveals expanded powers for police, allowing warrantless raids and surveillance for some national security investigations. And that's our news update for today. Don't forget to join us later for the evening recap. I'm Anne Mwawadu. Thanks for watching.